Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the science behind the gravity or magnetic hill. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a gravity or magnetic hill. Um, gravity and magnetic hills are natural places that cars are put into neutral and seem to be moving uphill and a slightly sloped road shown in the picture here, apparently defining the law of gravity, which we have one by my house. So we're going to show you the science behind it. This stretch of road is rather short, 50 to 90 uh, meters and only a few meters wide and surrounding by a natural hill or landscape without any buildings by. Maybe five different experiments to see to uh, bust this magnetic hill thing. One, turn off the car, put it in neutral, or release the brakes. Two, measure the altitude from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill. Three, roll a plastic ball to see which direction it goes. Four, use a bubble level to see where the bubble is on the angle of the road. And five, walk down the hill. Experiment one is turn off the car and put it in neutral and release the brake and see what happens. And here is the results. <laughs> All right, so we're going to test Gravity Hill here. We're going to go uphill, but I've got the car in neutral. I've turned it off, and I put the emergency brake down. So we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. I'm going to release the brake now. All right, here we go. It's uh, definitely pulling us up. Is there a car? All right, so we're moving uphill here. I got the car off. It's in neutral. The brake's off. So we're definitely moving uphill. Uh, we're starting to pick up a little speed now. Right here. Crazy. Come up a little closer. So now it says we're going about two miles an hour. We're picking up speed. I have no emergency brake and going uphill. This is pretty crazy. Now we're at four miles an hour. We're picking up speed five miles an hour. This is really crazy. I mean, our top speed, we got to about five miles an hour. You could definitely look like we're going uphill here, but you're going to see in the next couple of experiments that it debunks that. To more, it's an illusion, but um, it was pretty cool being in the car moving this fast. And you can see it hits right in that typical stretch of road where it's 50 to 90 meters, uh, only a few meters wide, and the surrounding area is hills and landscape without nearby buildings. Uh, but it was pretty impressive. Uh, to be able to go that fast and it, looking like you're going uphill, which is pretty incredible. So here's experiment number two that's going to start showing it's a little bit of an illusion um, as we're going to do the altitude from the bottom of the hill to the top. So here we are on the bottom of the hill and it's showing 1,115 feet at the bottom of the hill. So then I went about the middle of the hill and it's showing 1,111 feet uh, and so that's about a four foot drop right there. And if you're looking at the top now, all the way to the bottom, so you can see the hillside and it looks like it's downhill. So now we're at the top of the hill and we're at 1,099 feet. So we've dropped 16 feet going uphill supposedly. So that's what debunks it right there. And experiment number three here, rolling a plastic ball. So if it was magnetic, it would, um, want to pull it so the plastic ball should debunk it here too and we put it down and well reset it here just to make sure so it stops and it starts to roll which we think it was uphill so why would it be rolling uphill but we already saw the altitude earlier that's a 16 foot drop so um, it's going to continue to defy gravity here as it's rolling uphill um, which is pretty crazy but it looks pretty cool but we all know it's an illusion now that we're starting to see this with our experiment. So the fourth experiment, I'm using a bubble level to see what side the bubble is, the top or the bottom. We're at the bottom of the hill. Uh, to the right is the bottom and to the left is the top. And you can see towards the bottom is showing it's up, it's raised up. When definitely when you look at it, it's not, right? So the fifth and last experiment was walking down the hill. When we walked to get there, we ha we just added this experiment because our legs got really tight as we could feel that we were walking, it felt like uphill when we were actually walking down. It should have been very easy, but it was a little hard, which we found as an extra experiment that just kind of proved the whole thing 
that it is an illusion. There is no gr defying gravity or magnetic field. Um, so what we found on the internet is a whole bunch of different sites around the world um, on gravity or magnetic hills. Here's a list of them. And so the end result for us is there are several things that enable us to sense this way it looks like it's up. The balance mechanism in our inner ears is one system we have. The visual clues that are very important can be overriding. The horizon cannot be seen at the uh, or not level. And it may fool us in the objects that we expect to be vertical that aren't really not. The false perspective that we might also play in a role by not seeing the trees in line or a larger or smaller distance is a sense of perspective thrown off. These objects are far away but seem smaller than larger and so on and so on. At the end, um, we came to the conclusion that um, this is just an optical illusion and uh, we'd love to know your thoughts and comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.